Hi everyone, welcome back to the tutorial, uh, Employee Payroll Management Systems, part 23. And today we're going to learn how to create an allowance page uh, for our employee. Uh, through that, we can uh, add the over calculate and add the overtime to our database. Um, so, without further ado, um, we'll go to our database in here. So, this is the um, database and um, we're gonna create a table called allowance here um, but I don't want to do it manually so I provided all the code that you need for this entire um, tutorial and the, the link uh, link in the description box below uh, you can download that and you can find all the code that I'm gonna use in this whole tutorial uh, inside it so you're gonna go to execute SQL and then you're gonna delete this and you're gonna paste the SQL that I provided and you're going to say run SQL and if you go here you can see that add an allowance table with ID overtime medical bonus other MP ID salary rate total allowance first name surname created by and if you're going to browse there's nothing here ah, there it is so you're going to minimize that for the time being so now what you're going to do you're going to go here and you're going to say uh, right click and you J frame form and you're gonna name it allowance you're gonna click on finish and here there we go so we need the we need the search uh, bar um, to search for the employee so what we're gonna do you're gonna drop a label and we're gonna say <coughs> employee ID so if you insert the employee ID in this text table uh, text field sorry that's gonna display so you remove everything inside right click change variable to txt search and click ok and now we're gonna display the um, employee so when we search the employee is gonna be displayed in here in boxes so we, what we need is we need the employee ID and the first name surname uh, date of birth basic salary and the department um, so what we're gonna do you rub a label here just like that and we're gonna say employee ID ID and a text field here and we're gonna make it like 120 uh, let's say 130 and there you go so we're gonna change the variable name to uh, txt emp ID and I click OK and now we will need um, the um, first name so you drop here a label and we call it first name and a text field here just like that and you move everything right click change variable txt first name and click OK and now this is the surname so surname or last name if you want whatever you can customize this to whatever you want and there you go like that you're going to remove everything inside and you're going to rename it to txt surname and now you're going to drop here on the label and you're going to say um, date of birth and you're going to drop a text field just like that and you're going to say you're going to rename it to txt dob and now another label and you're going to call it basic salary and there you go text field here And you're gonna name remove everything, and you're gonna name it txt salary. You click like OK. And now the final one for the employee is gonna be the department. And you're gonna drop a text field in here, just like that. Just move everything aside. Rename to txt. Dip, which is the department. There you go. 
so um, now when we finish from that now what we need we need a table so we're gonna drop a table in here just like that drop it in here make it a little bit small right so you're gonna <coughs> we're gonna change the variable name to, to a table underscore allowance and you click OK. There you go. Now what we need to do is we need to um, just uh, add the overtime, the medical bonus, and the other uh, text fields here. And so what we're going to do is drop a label here, just like that. Just make it here, right? And oops. And what you're going to do is you're going to name it over time and you're gonna add the text field here should make it 130 as we whatever and you delete everything inside and you're gonna rename it you're gonna change the variable to txt hw and you're gonna click ok ah uh, sorry I mean uh, txt over time and now the second one just here down here uh, you're going to name it medical and you're going to drop the text box which is the, or the text field whatever uh, there you go like that change it to txt mat just call it mat whatever and now it's like that oops just like that right so you're going to name it bonus and you're gonna drop a text field just like that in here and you're gonna say txt bonus okay and the last one is gonna be uh, it's gonna be other uh, just like that, like that, and you're gonna name it t uh, txt other, and you're gonna delete everything that's inside. Right. So now uh, what we need to do is um, we will need uh, to add two fields, uh, two text fields, one for the calculating the overtime, and one for calculating the rates per overtime. So just move that here. So, um, drop a label in here, like that, and we're going to call it at total over time, and you're going to do that, just like that, and there's another one here, we'll call it um, rate per hour, and uh, there's a text field in here, just like that. I'm going to move everything. And this one is going to be txt hw. And this one txt, um, just call it rate. Okay. So now we'll need, uh, let's do that, let's move this here like that. Let's see, clean, the, clean this up. So we will add zeros here. So if you go here, zero, second one. Just add zero. Third one. Just add zero here. Right. Just add zero. This is because when you calculate, it actually grabs a zero. So there's nothing in here. Um, just do zero. This one. And this one, zero. Right. Now we need three buttons and two labels. So drop the label here. Just like that. And we're going to call it total amount so when we calculate everything we want to display the amount of the exact overtime so here we call it 0, 0, 0. but now we're going to right click we're going to go to properties we're going to go to font click here bold and make it 14 okay close there you go so the other one properties font here bold 14 okay close right yeah there you have it now we need three uh, buttons, 
save, calculate, and clear. So this is the save, this is the calculate, and this is the clear. So let's rename it. So that's save, calculate, and clear, and just make them equal, just like that. Right. And now we will need we will need uh, to display um, the um, employee ID when it logs in. You, I want to display it here, so every time I change anything, it will show me in my database that this specific employee has changed um, or added whatever the overtime to this particular um, employee. So I'm gonna have two labels, the one just here like that, and I'm gonna call it. Um, logged in as and then like that and then you're going to say EMP just like that and we're going to rename it to um, let's say label emp ID maybe and we're going to click OK so um, Without further ado, um, let's add the code again. The code, every single code is in the uh, link in the description box below. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add the connection and we're going to display uh, the allowance page uh, in the middle. So what you're going to do is you're going to save now, just save that, and then you're going to go to your source, uh, you're going to go here, and you're going to add everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to just cut and paste there you go you're gonna see here an error here there is actually a jar file that we need in this uh, um, in this tutorial so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to here to your libraries and right click add jar and there, there it is so I'm gonna have this as well with the code you can download so click on open this is gonna go and you can, as you can see it here. So now um, you're gonna add all the connections here, just down here. You're gonna cut and paste this. After that, you're gonna cut and paste this here. After the initialize components, you're gonna paste this, this code here. And you're gonna notice here there's update table, right? It's gonna go in two seconds because we're gonna paste this code in here under it just under this under this you're gonna hit just go here and you're gonna paste this code which is the update table code right I uh, deleted something here just see small letter C sorry right so uh, now you're gonna save that and now you're gonna go to your design again and you're gonna go to search but the txt search um, text field right click events key key released it's just here and you're going to paste this code there you go that's the code to get everything from the staff like that these ones and we're going to have it in here so we're going to do you're going to save you right click and run to test everything that we've done. So I'm uh, going to check the database. We're going to go to staff, and this is my staff. Uh, I'm going to search for the ID 5. So I'm going to search for the ID 5. And there you go. Displayed everything here. So employee ID 5, first name, surname, date of birth, basic salary, and the, and the department. And that's good. So you're going to close that. You're going to minimize this. And now we're going to do, um, we're going to go to the design again. And we're going to go to save. Then we're going to double click. We're going to go here. And you're going to paste this code in here for the save. There it is. Don't worry about the total. I'm going to, it's going to go in a bit. So you're going to save that. Now you're going to go to design again. You're going to go to calculate. Double click. And then you're gonna paste this code that will actually calculate 
everything that you need. It's really good to go through this because you gonna understand what's going on. So you're gonna save it now and then you're gonna design again. You're gonna go into this here, right click, change variable name, and you're gonna say label, which is LBL underscore total. Click OK. And now you're gonna save and all the errors it's gonna go. You see your label total. Right. And finally we need to double click on clear and it's like that and you're gonna paste this code in here the clear and there you go so I think it's uh, you save that I think uh, we're done uh, so we're gonna test and see what's going um, we're gonna right click here and we're gonna run and test our code so we're gonna run you're gonna click on search for copper so the copper is 5 and let's say copper has let's say um, five hours over time you click calculate and there you go and um, total amount is whatever so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it to our database so you're gonna go and save allow and sadly you click OK you're gonna see here that is go saved the overtime whatever the employee ID blah 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 so if you go to your database here table to allowance you can see that there it is everything that you need with the rate, total amount, whatever, everything in here of the allowance. When you click clear, everything gets cleared here. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more of these awesome tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.